Hey guys, what's up everybody? I'm back again here with my newest fleet update. Just wanted to make a quick update, pre-requested from the last video. Engine 1 has a 3,250 gallon pump. So it's 3,250 gallons. Time to get in. Let's do it. Start off with Squad 42, 1998 Seagrave J-Cab. Rotator bars on the top. Has been refurbished and is not a reserve. It is currently in service. Is what it actually gets more runs than Station One. This, but the Station Forty Two is under construction right now. It's going to be located on the western part of downtown Brick Angeles. Front and cab designs are courtesy of South Brick Falls Fire. He allowed me to use his design. Didn't make a tutorial of it. I kind of just went off of instinct and what I saw in his video. Um, South Brick Falls Fire. If you are watching, leave in the comments how I did. If you like it, if you think it came out good, please say something. But it does have the 42 on the front there. Q siren. Headlights. LEDs. Dual air horns. 2,000 gallon pump. Has some special equipment. On board does use a truck equipment has two sets of jaws has a uh, line attachments and a telesquirt aerial system. All right, there's the rear does have a yellow arrow stick. It's missing a couple of lights. I don't remember what I did with them. It does have two rotators on the top, a small hose bed underneath the telesquirt. And chevrons. All my rigs, I'm working on getting chevrons on. Engine 1 does not have them yet, but I am purchasing some more. Next up is Battalion 1. A 2002 Chevy Trailblazer. Custom front design for a Chevy Blazer. LEDs on the top. LEDs on the sides. Does have a lot of storage space in there. Does have chevrons. Uh... I think it has two different frickin' license plates. Does have rear view mirrors, and on the inside it does have a kind of control thing. Steering wheel and has a uh, console right there where you can see everything and use the walkie-talkie. I've also got that on my Medic, which is what I'm going to do next. I give you Medic 1. This one took me forever to get the design right. Because every time I made a medic, it came out, like, too big. And look, I couldn't, like, set it up so it wouldn't look like it had stuff sticking out from under the bottom. I think this one came out pretty good. Does have that, um, slightly stuck out LED bar on there. Red, white, blue, red, white, blue, red, white, blue. And then two red LED bar, two red LEDs on either side. The front, it is a 2012, I think it's a Kenworth or a Peterbilt, I can't remember which, what the name of it is, but I'll post a picture of it at the, on my homepage to allow people to see it. it does have turning signals up front here, headlights, grill piece, took me forever to find and I only had one of them so I used it on the Medic. Does have rear view mirrors? One side. Here's the rear. Still again needs some more chevrons. It does have a um, small access door here. On the inside. Give me a second here. Let me open it up. The doors on the back do open up. Are kind of a hassle. But they do open up on their own. Well, with some help, of course. <sighs> been sick for the past couple of days. There's been a lot of that cold stuff going around. Oh my god, I just like tore this thing apart. Hold on. Dang it. Need to find a way to make this roof easier to take off. Anywho, does have a large inside. I am working on a new stretcher. I'm going to put in a uh, computer in there. Heart rate monitor system, it does have some storage cabinets already installed. I will be putting in more though. That way it'll all get set up. 
the roof is removable so that way you can access it if you plan on just messing around with the Legos which I like to do a lot and I just want to get this out of the way now before I forget over there is station one I know it's not one color I I tried on most of it to get one color but there was absolutely no way I would ever be able to find enough solid one color Legos to be able to make that station the way I wanted to it'd be like six times smaller alright I will get into that on my next video and a little bit of it into this I'll give you more details if you want anyway next up my pride and joy first ever of her kind this is a 2012 Schmiel Cyrus single axle 90 foot ladder I, my god I actually got that right <laughs> oh and I've been getting some requests I have guys for all of you who have been wondering how to make a front bumper stand up cue siren I think I just figured out the way to do it and I will make a tutorial vid it, video of it too but check this out tell me that doesn't look realistic I think that came out beautifully it looks like a cue siren it still has the looks like it's kinda arrows down at the end there has the flat front and two air horns on the front bumper here this is the Schmiel Cyrus Custom Smeal Cyrus front, my design. So if you want to use it, you can. Just please give me credit, because I gave credit to everybody else that I use. Here's the rear rear part of it. Roll up door does have holders in it. Need a solid color of that. Need to get some chevrons on there too. Does have one of the uh, ladders to get up to the ladder itself. Has some roll up doors. Most of mine go all the way through. Usually they always do. Give me a second here. Go all the way through. Does have those leg things. I couldn't. I didn't have enough um, axle pieces to make it hydraulic, so where you could pull it out and it stay. So I just decided to use a like. If I go like this, I can pop it out. Then just put a two by one by two brick in there, and it still sets it up pretty nicely. I think it looks like, pretty good. It sticks. At, it should stick out a little bit more. I need to put in another one, I think. But it does have a red LED on both of them. There's one on each side. But yeah, there's a, a six-man crew cab, and it does have a aerial telescope thing on attached to the ladder. LEDs in the rear. All right. Next up is Rescue One, 2012 Pierce Velocity Heavy Rescue Units. Um, I need to fix that missing a top piece there. Um, um, this is my first time making a heavy rescue. Please comment and tell me what the hell I'm supposed to put on this thing, cause I tried to make it hollow like a command thing or a command rig, but I don't know if I did it right. I mean, I'm not, I don't know if I'm supposed to put it hollow. I mean, what I have out where I live, there are no, like, heavy rescue rigs. We do have a couple of hazmat units, but those are considered rescue rescue rigs. We don't have any heavy rescue units. So please send a subscri uh, no, description or the comments. Jeez, I can't talk today, sorry. Please put in the comments what you think I should do with it. I like the way it came out. I'm keeping the same body and stuff. Just tell me what I should add on. Or I know a lot of you guys use a lot of heavy rescue units and stuff. Tell me what you would put in there. And give me some ideas, please. Because all of you guys do the best inspiration. And for those of